What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double letter, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we are showcasing the best team to use for Series 10 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably sitting there like jeans. How do you know this is the best team for Series 10, considering there are so many Pokemon and so many team variations? Well, we only had one tournament using the Series 10 uh, rule set, and this is the team that won it. So technically, this is the best team as of right now. But getting started with this squad, in that top left corner, we have Landorus over there with Sheer Force ability, Life Orb as his item, Earth Power for Stab, and then the other three moves are Sludge Bomb, Stone Edge, and Protect. Cannot have the best Series 10 team without the best Series 10 Pokemon. This is going to be hands down the strongest Pokemon in this uh, format, and that is going to be Zacian over in that top right corner. Interpret Sword for its item, Rusted Sword, well, Rusted Sword as its item, Interpret Sword as its ability, and so every time we hop into battle, we get a free attack boost. Like, that's just broken on top of everything. He has Iron Head and Sacred Sword for his hitting moves, Protect and Substitute to set up this Pokemon and get him rolling in a battle. Middle left is going to be Rillaboom, again, another Pokemon that can be brought into any single team, and he just rocks out and does his work. Grassy Surge is his ability, Assault Vest as his item, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, both for Stab, U-Turn for Pivot, and Fake Out for Flinches. Right next to him, we got Regilecki, again, another Pokemon you can just bring in on any team. This team is stacked full of great Pokemon that are just phenomenal for this Series 10 rule set. Transistor ability, Focus Ash as his item, Thunderbolt for Stab, E-Web for speed control, Volt Switch for pivoting out, and Protect as our final move. Bottom left corner, we have Tapu Fini, the best Tapu in the game. Misty Surges his ability, Citrus Berry, and then this move set of Nature's Madness, Icy Wind, Moon Blast, and Leech Queen to help out Pokemon up against special attacking opposing Pokemon. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Incineroar. Dude, this team is just stacked full of Pokemon that are phenomenal. Incineroar's got Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Snarl. Wonderful moveset on this thing with that Intimidate ability and Shuka Berry as its item. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins with the best Series 10 team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Cinderace team alongside with Pikachu, Beware, Haunter, Malmar, and Colossal. So, looking a little scary with the Cinderace and Colossal, other Pokemon I'm really not too worried about, but these battles are actually on the casual ladder, which means the Series 10 rule set is not live yet. Considering I want to get this video out on August 1st when Series 10 goes live, so we are recording and showcasing this team a day before. So, Series 10 rule set, not here. We can still Dynamax, but we get to showcase this team, which I'm with, which I'm with. But, I think I'm going to lead Zacian. Zacian is one of the best Pokemon. He's just going to be able to dominate, I think, this battle and rock out from there. So we're going to lead Zacian alongside with, uh, well, bum, bum, who does Jeans want to lead him with? I'm thinking Regilecki could be nice. Because we can take Speed Control all day and kind of rock out from there. I'm going to lead them too. And actually, hmm. Yeah, no, we're going to lead them too and then bring Landorus. And then my final Pokemon is probably going to be Tapu Fini. I think Tapu Fini just rocks out. He's just a great Pokemon all around. So let's get after it. Let's use this team and try to get ourselves a first win with this best Series 10 team. But guys, let me know down in the comment section down below what are your overall thoughts on Series 10. Considering there's no Dynamax allowed and uh, you get one restricted Pokemon. So it's basically Series 8 with no Dynamax. Which I don't know how to feel about that. Because Dynamax is such a huge part of this game. And I think it's what made VGC and Sword and Shield what it is today. So it's just going to be something different. It's just going to be something totally different. But Zacian and Regilecki is my lead. We're going up against Beware and Malmar. And I'm going to try to not Dynamax. This, just to showcase this team without Dynamax. And considering once the Series 10 rule set goes live, we won't be able to Dynamax. But I'm just going to go into this move onto Beware. And I'm just going to E-Web and take speed control on both these Pokemon. He does have the Malamar. The lovely little Malamar. I love that Pokemon so much. I showcased him a while ago. Like, maybe over a year ago. He was just so much fun to use. But we get off a big E-Web, which rocks out, takes speed control. Zacian's going to come in here and just hit this poor little fluffy bear with the Sacred Sword and take him out, no problem. So beware, I'm sorry, get out of my face. Zacian plays no games, guys. Zacian is insanely strong. He's insanely strong. Like, probably one of the most broken Pokemon to be in VGC Pokemon. Superpower comes out here, we're able to eat up all day, and he's going to get stat drop. Actually, it switches, right? Unless he does not have that on. He does not have... The best ability for Malmar. That's like, I, f I forget what it's called. Is it Controversy? Is that what, what it's called? Where you just, uh, where stats are supposed to drop, they actually boost. 
It's just all small round, but we can go into another sticker sword, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I think I'm just going to pivot with a bolt switch onto the Malamar slot. I think that's going to be play because we can definitely take out this Malamar and then get after this guy with a sticker sword. Let's do it. Let's rock it. Bink. Malmar out my face. Drop him down. He does not die in Max. So I'm thinking we might be able to dump on this thing with this Sacred Sword here and get rid of this Pokemon. And we're just going to bring out. I could bring out Top of Finny, but we do not have a water move. I'm actually going to end up bringing out my main man, Landorus. My main man, Landorus. And getting him out there. Let's see what this guy does. He's going for an EQ. Well, I think we might just take him out here. Let's see. Nope. Brings him down to Sash, or did he get. Oh, we got a free focus Sash. He got a free focus Sash, and he's going to go for a burn up here. And Sassian's able to eat, yo. Let's get it. He burns up. He burns self out, which means he's not fire typing anymore. Right? I believe that's what that move does. But, dude, Sassian's able to eat, which is wonderful. We pretty much have this match in a wrap. In a wrap. Actually, no, we do not. The Cinderace came out here, and everyone knows Cinderace is definitely really, really scary. But we can rock out with Behemoth Blade if I really want to. That's probably what I should have went into. But it's only super effective now because of, uh, because he burned up. Hmm. So what does Sheen's want to do here? I think I'm just going to drop a Sacred Sword and go into... Actually, we can go into a Behemoth Blade onto the Cinderace. Nah, 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 nah. We're just going to go into Sacred Sword. Try to hit up on you and then go into, I guess, an EP. Do I double down into you? Because Cinderace is going to be fast on the field. Let me see the speeds on my team real quick. We have 24 seconds. I want to know who's faster, Zassian or my main man right here. Let's see it. 168 and Zassian is 190. Jeez, man. Dude, that is still super fast. That is ridiculous, his speed. His speed is absurd, not going to lie. For how hard he hits, his speed is insane. He might be actually be able to outspeed the Cinderace, which could be huge. We're definitely going to be able to outspeed the Colossal, no problem. But this is what we're going to go with. He's going to end up Dynamax and Cinderace. Like I said, I'm going to try not to Dynamax, considering we're trying to show off a Series 10 team. The Cinderace gets Dynamax. Such a strong Pokemon. I love that guy all around. Good old Cinderace. Speaking of Cinderace, if you guys haven't checked out my uh, my Pokemon Unite video where we showcase Cinderace and how to build them, go check it out. Show some love on the Pokemon Unite content. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying that content as well. But EP comes out here. Bink and... Woo! Woo! God dang, man! God dang, Sheer Force Life for Landers over here. Dump it on Cinderace in one turn, and that is how it's done. Win in battle number one. Let's hop into our second and look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys, and now we are talking. We are going up against a Palkia team. Another person is using a Series 10 team that he's, he's at least trying out on the casual ladder. He also has our Landorus with Sableye, Basharp, Rollaboom, and Dragonite. So cool looking team. I'm really digging it. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna lead Zassian and I might actually do that. I definitely want to get Regilecki out there for speed control. Definitely want Tapu Fini in this battle, but I don't want to lead it. He has two dragon Pokemon. Two lovely little dragon Pokemon. I'm gonna bring Zassian. Do I lead the Zassian though? That's the real question. Do I lead the lovely Zassian? Hmm. What does Jean's call here? I might not even go into Tapu Fini. I might just rock same squad. I really do dig it. I really do dig this squad. I mean, he has a few physical attackers. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do? He has a few physical. Definitely want, I definitely want this Landers. I think Landers rocks out here and just does a lot of work all around. And final Pokemon, I really want Tapu Fini. I really want that Tapu Fini, so we're going to rock out with this squad. Same squad as the first battle, but hopefully we get to show off the other Pokemon that we didn't, just like Tapu Fini, because we basically just led the Zacian and the Regilecki. E-Web took speed control, and Zacian just went out from there. And then eventually, we got out Landers, who one-tapped the Cinderace and won the battle. But let's get after this one. Let's go back to back. Going up against a cool Series 10 team. Palkia. Palkia, Palkia, Palkia. Get me hype for Gen 4 remakes. Get me super hype for that. But he's going to lead Palkia and Sableye. So Sableye can fake out. He can quash. He can do a lot here. That's a little scary. That is a little scary. But I might end up just protecting Zacian and just taking speed control here. And going from there. I think that might be play for us. Just in case he's trying to fake out and do massive damage to us. But the thing is, he can Dynamax Palkia. Which I hate. Um, I think I might just sub. Actually, I'm gonna sub here. Jeans is gonna sub. I should have protected in case he fakes me out. Yep. And who's he gonna fake out? Okay, he's gonna fake out you. Can Zassian outspeed it and at least get off a uh, sub suit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we subbing up. We got our little sub out. And he's gonna end up dropping a trick room. So good thing we did not e-web. 
not fine with that turn. We set up a nice little, uh, a nice little substitute. And now we can rock out with our boys. If I can just go Thunderbolt, I think I'm just going to go into you. And maybe just drop a Behemoth Blade. Hmm. we go Secret Sword. Actually, let's just go Thunderbolt into, uh, go Thunderbolt into Palkia. And just Behemoth Blade over onto Stabilize. That's going to be our move. That's going to be our play. Let's see what he does from here. Foul play is going to pop through. He's going to hit up on my Zassian. I think our substitute's still there. He gets a crit. Please tell me sub is still there. Sub faded. What you mean? Not very effective move. Get out of my face. Facial run comes through here. And who are you going after? I'm going to go after Reggie. Like, can you eat that, Reggie? Reggie goes down. Palkia's a beast. Palkia is an all-around beast. It was Behemoth Blade. Let's rock out from there. And slap up on this thing. You might bring it down to Sash. Let's see. Let's see how we do with this. Bring it down all the way. No Sash on this Pokemon. Get it out of my game. So we get rid of him. Palkia's out and about. So I am definitely going to bring in the one and only Top of Finny. The one and only Top of Finny. This is exactly why I brought him in. He has Dragonite and he has Palkia. And Landris is going to come out. Alright, I'm cool with this. Bringing out Top of Finny. Landris is rather fast. Unless it, this team is made for slow and tripping play. Surge is out and about, which is dandy. And I could just protect Zacian. I could protect Zacian. And just go into a Moonblast if I really want to. We do have Nature's Madness, which is awesome. Half the target's HP, but I think Moonblast is just going to be the better call all around. I'm going to go into that, and I think I'm just going to protect my Zacian. I can definitely see them going into him, so let's rock out. You might actually end up Dynamaxing here. Nope, no Dynamax. Is, is this guy going Series 10 with me with no Dynamax? I would love to see that. Palkia goes for Hydro Pump. We block it up, which is wonderful. Can Landers go into that same slot? I don't know. We'll see. But Moonblast comes through. And can we pick up KO? Do a lot of damage? Dude, this thing's a tank. This thing's an absolute tank. But we do get that wonderful special attack drop. That's huge. That is huge. Sludge Bomb flies through. And we know we're faster than that thing. We know we're faster than that thing. And maybe we can actually eat up a Palkia shot. So we'll see. We shall see how this one plays out. Let's go into a Moonblast here, and then go into a Behemoth Blade over onto you. Yo, this guy better not Dynamax. Right now, we have a Truths going. We have a little Truths going where we're not Dynamaxing. Hydro Pump's going to fly through here. We do have a special attack drop, which is huge, so Zacian should be able to eat up no problem. Wonderful. Moonblast's going to come in here, and can we pick up the KO here? Can we get that lovely KO? Can we get a high roll here? Oh, my lord. Bring it down to 1 HP, and we get that special attack drop once again. Which is nice and lovely. Earth Power is going to fly through, and that's going to end up taking out Zassi. Alright, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with that all day. I'm waiting for his Trick Room to kind of end here. Waiting for his Trick Room to end here. I can bring out my boy here. And do I Dynamax? That's the real question. <laughs> I could throw him a curveball on Dynamax, but yo, Palkia is out here crushing us right now. But I'm glad we went after this guy. I'm glad we went into a battle up against this guy. So I guess I'll drop this again. And what do I go from here? Let's go for Stone Edge. Stone Edge is a bad. Let's go for Stone Edge over on you. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's gonna go for another Hydro Pump and he connects it again. You crazy. You crazy, man. Connects another one. He has minus two. And that still takes me out. Wow. Wow, yo. Palkia. Look at this thing go. This thing is buzzing. We're able to finally take that thing out with three Moon Blasts. It soaks up Moon Blasts. It will be minus two on special attack and still one tap my Pokemon. This guy is insane. That Pokemon is nuts. Plus one's gonna fly through here, and that is actually going to end up picking up the KO. And we're gonna lose our second battle, which yo, I'm totally fine with considering we went after a nice team that is used for series 10. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and this is the real test right here. We are going up against a Zacian team, and it looks very similar to ours. We both have Rillaboom, Incineroar, Zacian, Regilecki, and Landorus. The only difference is I have Tapu Fini, and he has Galarian Zapdos. So let's get after this. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. I was actually happy we faced, we faced that Palkia team in that last battle. Just got to show that Pokemon off and show off another cool Series 10 team. But um, how should I go into this one? I think we have to take speed control. I think Speed Control is a must. And I might actually lead a Fake Out user, maybe like Incineroar. Hmm. But if he Dynamaxes, I'm going to Dynamax. That's my rule. Because this team is, uh, it's very similar. It's like basically the same. So if he Dynamaxes, I'll Dynamax and we'll get out from there. Definitely want Zacian on this team because we're showcasing him and he's phenomenal. Uh, do I go Landers? I might actually end up leading Lando. Lando's a solid lead. 
And I believe he's special attacking, right? So intimidate won't affect him. Let's see. Yeah, these are all special attacking moves. Well, we have Sunage, which is physical. Which is totally fine. So let's lead him. Let's go Zacian and then final Pokemon. I'm feeling either Incineroar. I'm feeling Incineroar, I think. Yeah, a lot of physical attackers, so we gotta... Actually, let's go Incineroar as a lead. Let's withdraw. Let's withdraw you. Go Regilecki, Incineroar. Try to get that Intimidate and potentially Parting Shot. Unless he has a Fake Out user, then we'll just Fake Out from there and go after it. But yo, we're versus Ash. His name's Ash, so... Does this Ash catch him? Maybe we can beat him in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> But let's see who we lead. I hope we can grab ourselves this win. But I really want to win this one. A, to get that winning record. And B, to showcase how good this team is up against a similar team like this. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go Zapdos and Lando. Oh, he's defiant. Um, um, uh, dang it, man. God dang it. He's defiant, which actually is totally fine because I can fake out. Because I can fake out and drop a heavy T-Bolt into that thing. I can drop a heavy T-Bolt into this thing. So is fake out gonna be the play? Might be. Oh, I think he might Dynamax. I could Volt Switch out. Volt Switch could be our play here. I think Thunderbolt is going to be our better option. And I'm gonna go for, for, for the fake out just in case he does Dynamax. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna be a buttery biscuit in Dynamax? Is that is that gonna be a thing? Is he gonna be like, I'm using Series 10 team, but I'm gonna Dynamax? He's gonna quick guard. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm cool with that turn. Fake out comes out here. That gets blocked. And uh, what's called is going to fly out of Thunderbolt. And we are Sash, which is wonderful. So we get that, and we dump it down to his Focus Sash. That's huge. That is huge. So now Regilecki is going to be the fastest on the field. I can E-Web and take out that bird, no problem. And go from there. So he's going to end up doing that. We have Shukaberry ready to rock, and I think I'm just going to Parting Shot out. I think it's going to be my play. It's just Parting Shot out. Or I can Volt Switch a Pivot as well. Hmm. I said we do Volt Switch. Then I could just Parting Shot onto Lando. That's my play. That is my play. Let's get after it. Let's do it. The tech can come out from there. That is totally fine. Volt Switch is not happening. And Parting Shot could, should come out before that. Actually, no. Lando is just going to be able to outspeed me, which stinks. Earth Power is going to fly through here. And he's going to take out my Incineroar. The smart little attack from him. Now I'm going to bring out Zacian, and we're going to get after it that way. He wants to play with the big dogs. He can play with the big dogs. He can play with the big dogs. It's no problem. Or I can bring out my own. But I'm going to bring out my Zacian because Zacian now speeds that thing all day. And I can just drop a Behemoth Blade. But now I'm definitely going to go for an E-Web. I don't think there's a point of Volt Switching here. I just don't see it. So now I can go into E-Web. Or I can actually, I'll just Thunderbolt that slot. Just in case he ends up swapping that thing. And I can just Behemoth Blade over onto the Landers. I dig this turn. Actually, might protect the Landers. Which, maybe I should just subbed up. And went from there. But we'll see. It was a solid attack from him that I probably should have read. And maybe just did a hard swap. But, I think we're fine. I think we're fine with what we have. The tech comes out from Zapdos and he lands it again? Are you kidding me? We're still focused, Ash. Which is nice. But still, you land another detect. Get out of my face. Behemoth Blade, can you just take this thing out? Show us your power, baby. Show us your power. Say, yo, that detect was worthless. Yep, get it out of here. Your detect was worthless. Get out of my face. Now I can E-Web, have speed control, take out the bird next turn, unless he lands another detect. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. Let's see who's next minus. He still has two more, but we're sitting in a decent spot, considering we have two Pokemon full HP. We'll take out the bird this turn right here and get speed control. And we'll have Zacian ready to rock out. Well, he has fake out ready to go. Um, do I protect? I think he might just uh, get after from... Who do I think he's going to fake out? That's a real question. That is a real question. Who do I think he's going to fake out? I definitely want to E-Web here. Or I could just double protect. Might be my play. Yeah, I'm going to double protect here. Drop a nice little dub double protect. Double protect. I think he's going to fake out and just try to get after one of my Pokemon. So let's just protect and we can rock out from there. Because I still want my Sash. I still want all this good stuff. Let's see my dudes play. Let's see my dudes play. We have a Truths going right now. No Dynamaxes. No Dynamaxes. We're not doing it. I do have my, my uh, Landorus in the back. So if you want a Dynamax here, we can play that game. But I don't think you're ready to play that game. 
And that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Double protect gonna pop out here. So his fake out and whatever he was gonna do with the bird is not going to work on us. Let's get out of my face. Let's see what he was doing. Thunder's kick was coming through here. So he wasn't faking out. What he was doing. He was just gonna U-turn and pivot. But I'm cool with that. So now I can just go into that E-Web. Get that slow down and drop a nice lovely behemoth blade over onto Rillaboom. Over onto Rillaboom. Let's rock people. We have speed all day. We have speed all day. But now he's gonna detect again. We know that for a fact. Like we 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 know that for a fact. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, you're detecting. <laughs> Dang bird, man. E-Web's gonna fly through. We'll slow down roll boom, and we will get off a nice, lovely little behemoth blade onto them. Which is nice. Which is nice. Can we take out? I don't think we're gonna be able to take out considering this thing is a bit bulkier than the landers. But again, we are plus one, and I do not want to underestimate the power of Zacian. Let's see how we do with this one. Think, hitting him up hard. And he brings him down the one. He gets a free focus ash, you lucky biscuit. So we have two of his Pokemon on one HP. Regilecki is fastest, unless he goes into a Pokemon with Fake Out, which he might have Incineroar. But if he had Incineroar, I feel like he would have brought it out a lot earlier. Gonna end up bringing out Zacian. And the best part is, our boy outspeeds Zacian. Our boy Regilecki right here outspeeds Zacian all day, so I can get off an E-Web, make our Zacian faster, and take out that bird at the same time. Unless he lands another Detect like he's been doing all day. So let's do that. And, uh, is Behemoth Blade to play? Probably not. Oh, it is. It is to play, so let's go into a Behemoth Blade and rock out after Assassin. I swear, if this Zapdos lands another detect, I'm a cry. I'm a cry, because there's it's lucky enough to land one back-to-back -back detect, but doing it twice in a game, that RNG is ridiculous. E-Web comes out here, finally, we get rid of the bird, we slow down Zacian, and we're going to be able to get after this battle. We are going to be able to get after this battle. Nice, nice, nice. Play this one pretty solid with that Regilecki lead. Regilecki's just so good at controlling battle and doing big damage all around. The Behemoth play comes through, and can we do him dirty? Let's see. I think we almost do him dirty. So if he does not take out my uh, Regilecki here, we should be cooking. We should be cooking. So let's see how this one plays out. He goes after Zassian. Zassian might be able to eat that. Yep. All dang day, baby. All dang day. Now, who are you going to fake out? That's the real question. Who are you going to fake out? Because both my Pokemon outspeed you. And I, all I gotta do is get rid of this Zacian. Going for the E-Web. And I'm going for, uh... I guess I'm gonna go after Zacian. I think that might be, a, be my play. Let's go for E-Web. So we know we outspeed. And yeah, I'll double down the Zacian. I will double down into Zacian. Because Fake Out cannot take out any of my Pokemon. Battle was cancelled. There it is. Winning record with the best Series 10 team. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1, grabbed ourselves a winning record, and lost to only one team. That was actually an awesome Palkia team. So, glad we got to show off the team, and I'm actually glad we got to stick to the Series 10 rule set and not Dynamax with the squad. Zacian rocked out. He was phenomenal. As you guys can tell, he picked up a bunch of big KOs. Landers is really, really strong, too. We got to show him off KO in a Dynamax in race in one shot. Regilecki just all around is great Pokemon. Same thing with the Rillaboom, Instant Roar, and Tapu Fini. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.